California's Sonoma wine country is home to a new floating solar farm, believed to be the largest in the U.S. This was a good project in that it helped to increase the, the quality of the recycled water for, air, for irrigation usage, but also help to provide renewable energy for our community. Nearly 12,000 solar panels installed in a 5 million gallon wastewater pond helping solve twin problems, reducing sunlight to prevent algae growth in recycled water and fuel a demand for clean power. And our community is very uh, climate oriented. It's just one example of climate action at the ground level. As soon as he took office, President Joe Biden signing his intent to combat climate change. We're going to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord uh, as, of, uh, as of today. But there's a sense of policy whiplash after four years of climate inaction under Donald Trump. If it doesn't blow, you can forget about television for that night. The on-again, off-again policies at the federal level aren't the full story. Now, it's, it's easy to get masked by the fact that there has been absolute like opposition from the federal government under Trump, and that was harmful. Instead, Holtman says states, cities, tribes, and even companies have responded by taking matters into their own hands. With historic ties to the internal combustion engine, Ford Motor Company is now aiming for a future based on electric vehicles. We know this is going to be a longer journey. and We can't wait for, you know, the different political cycles that may come through with this. Holy Cross says Ford is looking for a sense of urgency and unity from the global summit to get greenhouse gas emission reductions. The owners of America's largest solar farm, Solar Star, put their focus on their customers' growing demands for renewable energy. It really helps us to, to focus on what's important and not, not be distracted or have knee-jerk reactions following um, the, the various policies, but really staying true to our customers. Providing clean power to over a thousand households, this floating solar farm could be the template for many more. This proves the concept, it's viable. Developers are banking on Healdsburg, not holding the title of the country's largest floating solar farm for too much longer. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.